let's start. Na kanina actually Sir Frank already talked about yung experience ito sa Baguio. But let's um, go back. Ano yung mga common themes of this information here in the province or even in the region? Um, yung din discuss ni Frank earlier was uh, Baguio. Uh, Northern Dispatch is covering uh, Northern Luzon, which actually is uh, Region 1, Region 2, and the Cordillera Region. Uh, among the issues that, uh, that, is, uh, that falls victim to um, half-truths and um, well, uh, lies um, is on the government's uh, anti-insurgency program. Uh, Cordillera, we all know, and parts of Ilocos and Cagayan have uh, New People's Army roaming in the area. Uh, there had been reports, about, in the experience of Northern Dispatch, for example, there had been reports about um, hundreds of surrenderies. Parang araw-araw may NPA surrendery sa baryong ganito, sa baryo ng Ilocos, na ang isa sa highlights doon sa isang most recent na madaming sumurender daw ng mga NPA was um, a village in uh, Ilocos Sur. Um, when we fact-checked, the community said, uh, no, they are not NPAs. They are farmers, actually. And they were, when we talked to the farmers, they said that they were called to clear their names because they are being suspected as um, NPA supporters. So they went to clear their, their names. But when the news came out, they were labeled as NPA support, uh, NPA surrenderies. So, so naging, nabago naging, na yung Oh oh. Syempre, surrender pa yung Oh oh. Yung that news puts their lives in danger. So fact matters. Kasi if you are a farmer and then being labeled as an NPA, then you will be open target for well, di ba? Kasi there's a war going on. A civil war between the NPA and the government forces. So kung ikaw farmer ka, Tapos, lalabas sa balita na ikaw ay NPA pala, di, malaking diprensya yun. Um, another uh, another um, incident that happened in Basau, Dandanak, in the village of Dandanak in Basau Mountain Province, uh, there was a firefight between the NPAs and the government troops somewhere about, uh, in the mountains in Dandanak village. And then, uh, after that firefight, the um, the AFP deployed troops to stay in the village, so parang to protect the village, ganyan, because there are NPAs in the area. But when we went uh, to the community, the community was saying that they fear for their safety because of the presence of the uh, armed uh, soldiers in the area, because Yun nga, there's a war going on, and if the soldiers are in your village, under your hats, I mean, living uh, in the houses in your village, then they fear that if there happens another firefight, then they will be, um, well, di ba? Pwede silang tamaan ng bala. So, yun, yun yung ilang recent stories. This happened 2018. These are some of the recent stories that Northern Dispatch has um, uh, verified. So, ma'am, so you mentioned two cases and then you also explained yung naging danger niya, ano yung impact ng disinformation. It puts the lives of those farmers uh, in danger. Ano yung naging, um, how, does, how did that affect public perception? when that um, kind of um, disinformation spread in the area? Well, public perception in the urban areas is different in the uh, villages because Dandanak does not have the luxury of internet. So, uh, even TV and radio, radio pa siguro, and ang nakakaabot daw na national newspaper sa kanila doon is Bandera. Okay. So, that's it. <laughs> and well, oh, there's a local newspaper in Mountain Province, the Mountain Province Exponent. Uh, well, when we were printing 
uh, Northern Dispatch reaches than the NAC. So, yung limited yung source nila for uh, information. So, uh, yung public perception is different in the area. Lahat sila alam nila na natatakot yung mga taga Dandanak. And even the, syempre, the nearby villages, alam nila yung nararamdaman ng mga karatig barrio nila. But outside, syempre, here in Baguio City, mas nauna kasing lumabas yung balita na uh, kasi NPA infested, oh, yung term na yun, ano, parang, parang ano lang daga o kaya ipis. Oh, NPA infested yung area. So, kung nauna na kasi yun, mas mahirap bawiin. Di ba? Parang, mas naunang kumalat kesa dun sa... Ganun din yung sa farmers ng Kandon. Um, nauna nang na-broadcast sa national at saka sa mas malalaking um, media outfits na sila ay surrenderies. Tapos nasama na sila sa statistics ng government, which is also, katulad nung sabi niya kanina, numbers matters, ano? by uh, sometime in, by the end of 2015 sabi ng government 4000 na lang ang NPA by the end of 2018 11000 yung sumuko so paano natin i-add up yung ganun ano so yon yun yung isang nangyayari na uh, nauuna yung kasinungalingan mas mahirap bawiin ganyan um, gusto ko naman pumunta kay Diwa. Ano yung sa, in the school naman, in the campus, meron bang mga similar cases of uh, disinformation or hate? For SLU po, I think there's only one case of disinformation na napapansin namin. So, nangyayari ang fake news kapag kung sino-sino nag-a-announce na walang pasok. So, dun hanggang uh, hashtag dun lang walang pasok. Uh, so, I'm sure nagtitrend din yan. May, Tama? Uh, may part sa akin na malala siya kasi um, other students would even edit photos of memorandum para lang maniwala yung ibang students na walang klase. So, yun. Pero, um, organized naman po pagdating sa pag-announce na walang klase. Parang, kahit nag-announce na ang government na walang klase, we have yet to hear from Father President and from uh, Dean of Office Student Affairs kung may klase nga ba talaga. So yun, hanggang doon lang naman yung fake news kapag walang klase po. Kapag walang, ano, walang pasok. So, so nabanggit niya actually din na may similar na dati na um, yung bagyong neneng, ganyan. Yeah. Um, yung mga ganyang disinformation, ano yung nagiging... Ano yung impact niya sa public perception? Ano yung danger noon sa, sa community, sa bagong community? Siyempre, na-erode na yung trust nila sa mga legitimate, as a media, so affected din yung mga legitimate media. So right now, uh, I was just scrolling, ano, and then, this one story about uh, Wang Od. You all know Wang Od, di ba? Siya yung tattooist, the oldest tattooist daw. She's going to uh, collect 100,000 for being a centenarian. Nagkanon ka ako kagad, who told you na 100 years old siya? Diba? Sinabi niya ba yun? Mayroon ba siyang birth? Yan ang problema natin sa Cordillera. We don't have birth certificates. You know? So we just, uh, he said, she said, she said, she didn't say she's 100 years old. Uh, according to Tami Hafalia, a uh, photographer, ano, kinausap niya siya and then ginamit niya yung gauge yung World War II. So, sinasabi niya, maybe she's only 80 plus. ba? Isa din yan, yung sinabi nung counselor na hindi daw pinato si Bong Revilla, ba? Should we believe him? Siya yung PR ng hugpong. ba? So, sabi niya, walang bumato. So, always, dapat ganun kayo, healthy skepticism. Huwag kayong maniwala kaagad. Hanapin nyo yung source. Sinabi nila na SWS, uh, Bongo is now number three. Who paid for that survey? Uh, we know na si Mga Has is uh, a bit, uh, okay. pero yung pagbabayad ng survey, malaking bagay yan. It will influence the result. So, um, yeah, facts matter. Binigyan ng 100,000 si Wang Od. Now, we, we're not even sure if she's 100, di ba? So, uh, every day we have to grapple with facts. 
Sir, sinabi nyo na rin na parang um, dahil dun sa mga disinformation na kumakalat, mm. um, it, aff- it, it erodes yung trust sa media. Oh. I want to know, um, also with uh, Ralph, ano yung, what, are you, what are your newsrooms doing to um, gain the trust of um, the public, of, of your constituents? Well, yun ang sabi ko, ah, we still have to uh, uh, verify everything. Verify, verify, verify. Uh, ang Midland, Meron silang apat na yun ang ginagawa, nagbe-verify ng mga data, di ba? Fact checkers so. How about sa Ah. Uh, <laughs> kami ang nagfa-fact check sa mga storya namin. I mean, syempre sa in the battle for truth, truth is your only weapon. So Diba? Yun lang talaga eh. Uh, what can media do is to make sure that what they, whatever they put out in their platforms is the truth, is verified, uh, is factual. Uh, kung, sinabing, kung sinabing binato si Bong, o di, hanapin mo kung sino yung nakakita at nagsabi. Uh, kasi, ang tawag dito, Kapag sinabing, ano yan, um, terorista yan, alamin mo bakit, kausapin mo siya. I mean, yung word na fake news is, is should not exist because news should not be fake. Yes. <laughs> Mascom students, what is news? Basic, di ba? Factual, accurate, verified. So there shouldn't be fake news. Sabi naman sa Rappler, well, we still practice good journalism, like the typical, uh, you know, interview sources, get the other side, as always. Pero ako yung nakikita ko rin uh, challenging, yung other side, ay makipag-usap. For instance, uh, uh, the Aimee Marcos, for, in- for example, ilang beses na siyang binuntutan ng aming uh, house reporter, si Mara Cepeda, to, uh, to have a sit-down, to have an interview. Wala. Sinabihan parang... This is off record, ah. pero she, at one point, sinabihan siya, sinabihan siya ng mga staff na, ah, this one's, uh, bakit ganun yung mga tanong mo? Kasi meron kang gustong palabasin. Kasi gusto mo na ganito, uh, sino, may, may ganito kang agenda. When in fact, meron naman talaga agenda, which is to practice good journalism. Speak to, uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to the sources, kung sino yung mga personalities. And then, uh, there's, meron pa of course yung, uh, Ako, hindi ko na masyado na-emphasize sa presentation ko yung, uh, yung point ko na mahirap magkumuha ng documents. For example, those reclamation projects, wala, nahihirapan na akong kumuha ng documents. Yung China loan agreements, ang hirap kumuha. I've, I'm, I've been trying to get them, pero uh, yeah, ayun yung barrier. Siguro next week, sana makakuha ko ng loan agreements sa <laughs> China. How about you, Dio? Anong um, pag... May, nag, uh, may nag-spread ba yung walang pasok, fake news, uh, disinformation dito sa campus? Ano ba, nang, meron bang mga naka-cancel na classes para na-affected? And ano yung ginagawa ninyo to fight that? Uh, credibility. Credibility is important for, uh, well, White and Blue is the only publication ng naman for university-wide. So, so bali, nasa amin lang. Sa inyo kami lang, sa amin lang responsibility din. Uh, po, yes po. So, credibility talaga. And ayun nga po, pagdating po sa ganyan, parang meron na po kaming um, communication with the administration parang meron na kaming both na um, parang nagtutulungan kami pagdating din dyan sa fact checking po na yan. Okay. Uh, meron naman kaming uh, sinasabi sa journalism ano, uh, sabi namin, uh, you don't need a uh, weatherman to tell you that it's raining outside. Go outside and okay. see kung umuulan. Tsaka kuminsan, pag ako ginaganon, Um, curious lang din po ako kasi papalapit na yung elections. <laughs> may, may call si Sir Frank. Uh, papalapit na yung elections and actually uh, we saw yung, yung, pag, pa, yung pag-spread ng disinformation nag-start on a grand scale during the 2016 elections. And in the local scene ba, how is it? Um, meron bang may, may disinformation ba? May hate ba? Or may attacks ba against the press? Ano yung, what's the environment? Right now, uh, they love us. Uh, mahal na mahal kami ng mga 
politicians ngayon, nagpapa-friends, friend request, ganun. Uh, <laughs> pwede ba tayong kumain, ganun. So, uh, right now, we, we don't accept, pero... Ang saya, ang saya ngayon, kasi ito yung uh, niligawan kami eh. So, may mga, I don't know, uh, right now, uh, we don't uh, write yung mga alam namin na parang uh, nakakasira. So, meron kaming, uh, sa, sa Baguio Chronicle, meron kami yung just asking. Okay. Ang midla naman, meron true or false. So, actually, yun, yun ang unang binabasa ngayon. Uh, actually, sa midla, ang unang binabasa pa rin yung obituary. Hindi yun makalis sa amin eh, pati ako. Kasi yung nanay ko, uh, basahin mo ngayon mga namatay ng mga barkay. So, it's a habit. So, other than that, ang next na babasahin, yung true or false nila. So, we keep that uh, as a way of uh, fighting libel, pero doon namin nilalabas yung mga, na, mga fake news na nababasa namin. How about ma'am? Ah... Uh, Hindi pa nag-start ang campaigns. Local ano. campaigns. Oo, yeah. hindi pa nag-start ang local campaigns. Pero syempre, nakikita mo na silang gumagala all over. Uh, as a journalist, di kung alam mong PR stunt kasi yan, eh, huwag mo nang patulan. Uh, parang meron ganung sariling uh, imposed sa sarili na you'd to, sabi nga na si Id, sino si EGP dito? To write is to choose. Or do you choose what you write? Ano ba yung kailangan malaman ng publiko? Hindi naman nila kailangan malaman na nagpa-medical mission yung isang kandidato, di ba? Hindi nila kailangan malaman kung ilan ang binigyan niya ng eyeglass. Hindi rin nila kailangan malaman na dumalaw sa isang patay yung isang politiko at kumantakanta doon. Yung ganyan, I mean, um, di ba? Pero kailangan nilang malaman kung sino nag-invite sa mga pumarada. <laughs> yes, Ralph? Ito, another problem yung going back. Na, kasi mm -hmm. we recently had our uh, senatorial forum, yung Rappler. Uh, sino -sino ba, uh, kung napanood nyo kung sino-sino yung mga pumunta at saka yung mga hindi pumunta. So hindi ko napapangalanan kung hindi, hindi pumunta. Pero, there, pero yan din yung nakikita kong problema. Kasi we... We re we really want them to uh, talk and uh, about their platforms. Pero anong ginagawa ngayon ng ibang kandidato? Sumasayaw, kumakanta, tapos i-justify pa nila na uh, kung plataforma yung pag-uusapan, mabobore yung tao. So so parang kaya gusto nilang sumayaw. So I think yung mga ganun, parang another point that I want to raise is um, also look at what is not being seen in the media. Because that's that's another. Because uh, we can only access so much. We can only invite so uh, so much. Pero kung sino yung mga sino yung mga absent sa mga ganito ng classing forum, sino yung mga umiiwas sa tanong, hindi naman papangalan pero kilala niyo na yon. dapat kilala niyo yon. Ayan. Sige. Sundut lang dun sa sinabi ni Sir ano. Yung sabihin sa atin na. Uh, kapag plataforma ang pinag-uusapan ay mabobore tayo, parang ina-undermine nila yung capacity ng voters. Ina-undermine nila na nag-iisip tayo. Parang sinabi na okay lang sa atin yung sinasayawan lang tayo at kinakantahan. I think bilang mga botante, we have to put that, uh, I, uh, parang kung ako, may insulto ako eh, na Ano yun? Song and dance lang pala ako? Ganun ba yun? Sige, before we, um, uh, I think we have, ano na lang, before we wrap up our panel discussion, um, can you share your message for the audience about um, why we need to help all together as a community uh, uphold uh, truth and fight against disinformation? Message. Okay. <laughs> Nagtinginan kami kung sino mauuna sa amin. Uh, lagi yung sinasabi, disinformation is not, did not happen just today. It has been in the arsenal of rulers, especially tyrants, way back 
in history. Uh, it's, it's used to divide people. It's used to confuse people. So it's easier to conquer them. And divide and rule, ginamit na yan sa Pilipinas ng so many times. To label us as simply dilawan, komunista, DDS, is, is also a way to divide us. And unless we begin to uh, see that, or unless we resist to be labeled in just one color or one faction, and uh, we go beyond what is being fed to us, they will continue to lord over us. I mean, ganun yun eh. Uh, they, 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 they confuse us so that uh, we don't know what to believe anymore. Um, you, to the youth, uh, this is a challenge for you. Uh, we have to start addressing disinformation. I think the difference now is um, it has gone into a, a higher level, way higher level because of social media, the spread of disinformation. Siyempre, nung panahon ng mga ng mga hari train na, eh, wala namang Facebook, walang cellphone. So, hindi ganun kalawak ang spread ng, ng disinformation. Pero at this day and age, when everything is at the click of your finger, it's very fast. And it's, sabi nga nila, it travels faster than the speed of light. So, um, pagtulungan natin to address it, ngayon na, to set the, yung sinasabi ni Ma'am Maria Reza kanina na filters and, um, gateway, yung social media to be a gateway, uh, gatekeeper, ganyan. Kasi if this goes at, ha, uh, if, if, if this goes on, lalala siya. Pagdating ninyo sa edad namin, mas mahirap na siya subpuin. So start now. Um, ang martial, ang, ang paglaban sa martial law, yung mga victims ngayon, kaedad ninyo noon, noong nagmarcha sila at pinangunahan ang paglaban sa EDSA, uh, paglaban sa uh, martial law. So, I think yun yung uh, gusto kong uh, ihapag ngayon, the challenge to the youth. Kasi, kanino bang future yung gusto nating protektahan? Sa inyo, sa mga magiging anak ninyo at apo ninyo. So, yun. Um, purveyors of disinformation are organized. So let us also organize ourselves. Ako naman, babalik ako dun sa presentation ko. Know your numbers. Al alam ko yung mga maskong, ilan lang yung, mat ilan lang yung mat units nyo. Or uh, ilan lang yung econ. So, so, you know, you, you, I think, uh, bukod dyan, kailangan damihan nyo ng konting electives. Don't be afraid. Well, be afraid ng slight. Kasi <laughs> grades yun, di ba? But, but, Yung, yung uh, halimbawa yung mga discussions na yung mga kung importante ba yung mga honesty yung mga ganun, parang ako kailangan pa pag usapan yun, parang kailangan natin mag-move on agad, yung mga ganitong usapan kasi it's really it's it's all smokescreen let's talk about numbers kung si, magkano na ba yung ginastos ng mga ganitong kandidato, saan galing yun tapos ano ba yung mga kung paano gagastosin ng gobyerno yung pera, kung magkano yung alam, Ano ba, um, may uh, lumabas na report yung PCIJ na nilabas nila kung magkano nila yung net worth ng mga, tapos lumabas sa kanila yung top, yung mga top candidates hindi match doon sa kini, uh, sa mga ginastos nila for uh, their campaign, pre-campaign. So saan galing? Sino mga nag-donate noon? I think yun yung mga dapat pag-usapan. Huwag na yung mga, alam mo yung mga, yung mga, Alam mong, it's just there for the airtime. It's just there for uh, more confusion. I think we need to uh, uh, learn more about uh, our numbers. Yung biases ka, lumalabas. Learn more about report. numbers. <laughs> um, so, fake news kasi has ayun, social, economic, and political circumstances. But I want to focus on the political circumstance. to stress na din for the upcoming senatorial elections. Let me reiterate again that we can either build chances of worthy candi candidates or destroy their chances of winning. So, parang, I want us to think that when we think about fake news, it do not just build 
or destroy politicians, but it will build or destroy our country and of course our democracy. So parang on a final note, when we think about this information, we should always think about democracy because that's the most important. That's nice. Sir Frank. Uh, so mga non mascom dito ano uh, I always say this uh, you you have a maximum of 5000 friends in Facebook diba That is the circulation of Baguio Chronicle so each of you is a local community paper so ang laking panyon uh, opportunity for you to bring out your voice uh, learn your grammar. Yan ang panalo kayo sa mga DDS. Uh. <laughs> and then, uh, yun, uh, if you went into journalism to make money, you still have time to drop. Uh, hindi ka yayaman dito kung malinis kang tao. We have friends na who went to the other side. Lagi pang inaaway, hanggang inaaway ako. But I always tell them, ah, sayang yung mga awards nyo kasi eventually, ang magiging epitaph nyo ay ah, epitaph, ah, epitaph nyo ay tawa ako ni Sarah. Diba? Yung, yung dati yung intern ng galing-galing eh, tawa ako ni Aimee. Mabubuhay ba siya sa ganun, diba? 